Operation of the Fluido Compact System shall only be performed after reading the official user manual. The surgical company specializes in the development of innovative solutions for healthcare professionals in various fields of expertise, including patient temperature management. Since our founding in 1993, we have built up a high level of expertise in the field of perioperative hypothermia. We now offer a wide range of patient temperature management solutions like Mistral Air, Fluido Irrigation, Thermoflect, and Fluido. Our portfolio for blood and fluid warming consists of two systems. The Fluido Air Guard system with a capacity to warm up moderate to high flow rates and the Fluido Compact, designed for warming low to moderate flow rates. The Fluido Compact standard set consists of a cassette, a 400mm long patient line and is also available with a 700mm long patient line, a drip chamber and an access point. The standard set can deliver normal thermic flow rates up to 100ml a minute. Connect the power supply cord to an earthed wall socket. The standby and on indicator LED on the control module is now orange. Push the standby and on button. You will hear a single beep. The indicator LEDs on the control module flash one time and the standby and on indicator LED stays green. The status indicator LED on the warming module is now orange. Unpack the disposable set. Connect the hospital administration set to the cassette of the disposable set. Take the warming module out of the warming module holder and open the slider. Place the cassette in the warming module. The cassette fits in only one way. Then close the slider. The status indicator LED on the warming module is now green to indicate that the disposable set is detected and positioned correctly. Place the warming module back in the holder with the interface cable downwards. Keep the standard set in the upright position during priming. Make sure that the slide clamp of the standard set is open and open the roller clamp of the hospital administration set to prime the complete system. Make sure that there is no air left in the system and close the roller clamp. To prime the standard set with drip chamber, turn the drip chamber upside down and fill it completely with fluid also. Place the drip chamber upright in the drip chamber holder. Make sure that there is no air left in the system and close the roller clamp. Position the warming module near the patient infusion site and secure the cable clamp to the patient coverings. Make sure that the slide clamp is open and connect the patient line to the IV catheter. Now, open the roller clamp to start warmed fluid administration. To de-aerate the standard set with drip chamber, close the slide clamp of the disposable set. Make sure the roller clamp of the hospital administration set is open and the disposable set is in an upright position. Take the drip chamber from the holder and turn it upside down. Remove the protective cap from the T-connector. Connect a syringe to the T-connector and remove excess air from the system. Disconnect the syringe and reconnect the protective cap. Place the drip chamber upright in the drip chamber holder. Open the slide clamp again to continue fluid administration. To stop the system, push the standby and on button on the control module. 
The status indicator LED of the warming module is now orange. Close the roller clamp of the hospital administration set and close the slide clamp of the patient line. Disconnect the patient line from the IV catheter. Now, open the slider and remove the disposable set from the warming module. Place the warming module in the warming module holder and dispose the disposable set. For more information, please visit tsc-group.com. Thank you for watching The Surgical Company. Specialization through innovation.